Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other craft podcast. We're on episode 21. <laughs> I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica. <laughs> it's fine, just keep going. <laughs> it was a surprise. I had to talk more. <laughs> okay, so anyway, welcome back to all our returning um, viewers and subscribers. We're so glad you're here. And if you're new, we hope you stick around and you like what you see and you consider subscribing. First, we're going to just mention the make-along that we're running. It's called Finish It Fall <laughs> Make-Along. And the idea is that you're just going to spend the, the fall season, or the autumn season as some people call it, um, finishing um, works in progress. It doesn't have to be um, a whip. It could just be something that you want to start and finish. Um, before the end of the fall season and we are ho uh, hosting that on Instagram where you can use the hashtag finish it fall at ROK um, to post your finished pictures or you can join our Rose Opal Knits Facebook group and you can post your finished object photos there. We'll be pulling um, winners from Instagram and the Facebook group and um, we are going to give away pattern prizes. Okay, so all the information for that is in the description box below. And on both the pages. Yep, Instagram and Facebook. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna go into uh, finished objects. Daphne's gonna start. I have two gifts, that's it. But anyway, so I finished the little hood. And again, that is not the color at all, that's way too bright. But it's a cranberry color, just so you guys know. But, so I was right there. So all I did was pick up, well, finish knitting this, and then this was just kitchener together. I did it a little too tight. I like, I think it's cute with the point. It's got a little point. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, I keep putting it on Mason and Paisley, because it's actually for my niece. She's going to be Little Red Riding Hood for Halloween. And none of us are going trick-or-treating, but um, I'm going to take my kids over there to hang out with her. But anyway, so... It's got a little point, and everyone likes it. So Paisley put it on the other day, and she looks so cute in it. How and old then, is Paisley now? She's almost four months, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like today, I think. If you go by the date, which she was born July 24th, so today is... No, June 24th. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> so I'll just throw this in here in case you're new. <laughs> I am Daphne's mother-in-law. She's married to my oldest son, and I have two grandbabies because she has two children. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah. So she's in four months mm -hmm. as of today, if you go by the date. Because she was born June 24th. I know her birthday, I swear. So, I just wasn't thinking about it. Yes, today is Saturday, Saturday, October 24th. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then Mason tries it on. He loves it. So, if you guys remember, when I made my Weekender, I have a bunch of Mayans brand Woolies in the Green Forest, Green Heather, Forest Heather? Forest Heather. Forest Heather. <laughs> <laughs> but that color way, and I'm going to make him one in green. So, mm -hmm. but anyways, and he... And then we said he could be like Link. Yeah. From Legend like of Zelda. Link, but he didn't, didn't really wear like a hood. It's no, he was like, like a hat. hat yeah. But I just said Link. But anyway, so back to this. This is Lion's brand Woolies also, and it is the cranberry color way. So, it's all stockinette pretty much, and then... This is a seed stitch border, and then at the bottom, the border is called a raspberry stitch border. And I love that stitch pattern. It is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to find a sweater pattern that has that on um, this, just the sleeves, because that's a body that, I don't know. I don't like see-through bodies at all. And I know some people are, like, wear a shirt underneath. I don't, I don't know. I don't like doing that. So, but then, mm -hmm. for the buttonhole, this is the button. It's just a little button I got from Walmart. And the button band, it's actually just a little I-cord band. So this is the first time I did an I-cord. And I was scared to do it because I've heard people say that they don't like the I-cord bind off. That's usually because, though, it's over, like, a very large amount of, you know, area. This is, like, three inches, and that's yeah. it. But it was just an I-cord, not even the I-cord bind off or anything. So it wasn't that bad. No, i cord. not so, But, again, first try. So <laughs> that's it. It's so cute here. Maybe if my picture. sister's okay with it, I'll take a picture of her in it and post it somewhere. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's really cute. If not, I'll put it on cute. like Mason or someone. So <laughs> I just don't know how my sister feels about that. Mm -hmm. But she 
if I'm being a little red riding hood. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be cute. All and right. it's like the perfect length for her because I put it on Mason and hits him at like his hips, but Mason's like tall because he's almost two. And Everly is like three months younger than her him, but she's like really picky. So <laughs> it fits her perfectly. But I, I made the 12 How old is Mason? Months. 20 months? Yep. Almost 21. Well, a couple weeks away. Right? He was born in February. It's October. Yeah. <laughs> February. Yeah. But like, not this February, obviously. I have to reach the February me. before. <laughs> but yeah. So. All right. So I have one finished object. I finished my Simple Hug Cardi by Cozy Up Designs. So I had asked two episodes ago, back in episode 19, for um, opinions. Should I do it reverse stocking at, which is in here, or should I just showcase the stocking at, the stocking at? Um, and overwhelmingly, everyone said stocking at side, and that, so that, that's what I, I went with. Yeah, Daphne was the only one that said reverse, and I liked it either way. Um, but I was, so I went with stocking at, now, um, I was here, right there, right before the uh, sleeve separation, the last time I showed it. So I finished, you know, the both panels once I separated and then finished the back. And um, I also, I was trying to think, what else? <laughs> I also did long sleeves. Um, the pattern calls for, you know, just a certain amount of ribbing here. It's a short sleeve. Cardi, but I decided to add long sleeves because I I knew I was going to wear it through the winter and because it's all mostly non-superwash wool. There are some superwash wools in it, but it's mostly non-superwash. So I added long sleeves and I didn't stripe them. I just used the what I considered the main color um, was this orange. So I'm not going to go over all the yarns that I used because um, they're all put away. I actually like emptied out my basket and put them all away. But this main color is Lion's Brand Fisherman, Fisherman's Wool that I dyed with Wilton icing dyes years ago. And then um, some of these stripes, a lot of them are fingering held three or DK held with a fingering. So there is Knit Picks palette in there um there's Kelborn Woolen Scout is in there. Um Barocco Ultra DK is is in there and um Painted Yeah, Painted sky. Desert, Painted Sky, yeah. one of those. But all the information it's painted desert. Okay. Will be um <laughs> in the uh, information box below. I did want to tell you, I have notes. <laughs> um that I knitted um at a smaller gauge than what the pattern calls for. So the pattern suggests um, needle sizes US 10 and a half and um, US 11. I used US 9, which is 5.5 millimeter, and a US 10, which is a 6 millimeter needle. And um, the blocked gauge on the pattern is 12 and a half stitches by 17 rows and my blocked gauge is 16 stitches by 20 rows. And so I knew I, that I knew the sweater was gonna be smaller than the pattern, so I went up a size. I knit the um, size five. According to measurements, I would have knit the size four, but because I was knitting at a smaller gauge, I knit the size five, and it fits great. It's oversized in the body, but in the, these sleeves um, hit me right at my elbow. That's why they look so skinny. <laughs> when I hold them up because I like a like a tighter fitting sleeve anyway so then it fits nice you know down to my wrist length and um, that's it if there's anything else that I'm forgetting and you want to know please leave a comment or send an email she also only used one ball of the orange I had three I have three balls of the live brands <laughs> fisherman wool that I dyed all this color <laughs> and I used not even a full one. There's like a little bit left of one. So I told Daphne, I enjoyed knitting this cardigan. Like I really enjoyed knitting it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to knit at least two more <laughs> and use the um, Lion Brands Fisherman Wool as the main color and then change my stripe color. So I have plans. 
I think I want to knit one with like blue blue and like brown or beige stripes and then I want to knit one with like green and brown stripes I don't know I have plans <laughs> so that's my one finished object on the floor. <laughs> okay, my other one is a pair of socks, and these are the shag carpet shorties again. So, if you guys can't tell, I really like. This okay, pattern. well, first off, we've we've got to say this: they're two completely different. They, they socks, are a pair, but they're me meant to be a pair for your cousin, right? Yes, it's my mm -hmm. cousin. So, um, okay, well, first I'm going to talk about this one. This is the Clark and L July colorway. It's called Purple for Candace, and I got you can't really see it, but I got to the toe. I ran out of yarn. So the toe is actually Clark and L still, but it's from the Fall autumn, Mystery yeah. Sock. Yeah, and it set. it looked just like It's the mini that came with the sock set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the mini. So I held it double because this one's a fingering, this is all DK. This is a finger on sparkle. Uh -huh. So it's got a twinkly toe. So and I kept saying just twinkle toes because I don't know if anyone else actually watches it, but Avatar The Last Airbender, um, Toph calls Aang Twinkle Toes. So when I knit the toe with sparkles, I was like, he's got a twinkle toe. Just one. <laughs> Not even two. Just one. So, but I mean, I had plenty of yarn to finish it. It's just not the same exact yarn with, but it's the same color. And I mean, like, honestly, you can't tell that much. They're still a little damp. It's a little bit lighter but it, it is it looks like the same yeah so mm -hmm. it, i don't think he'll mind at all i also sent him a picture and he didn't he care. wanted non-matching socks yeah. i don't think he's gonna mind at all <laughs> no no he's like really artsy anyway so i don't think he minds but so it's just a really pretty cable design to mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so but and that's your fourth pair this of... is my fourth pair you guys the other three pairs we're all knit with the same exact yarn, but that yarn was really pretty, so it's okay. Yeah. But the only difference with this sock is that I went up a size because they are for a man. So, so it's the uh, 52 stitches around. And that's it. But yeah, so that's that sock. It's all purple for Candace mm -hmm. is the color. And then this sock is actually scraps from her, so I don't know anything about well, this yarn. Well, it was like really like a half a ball of, um, oh. I didn't give you a ball band or anything with it? Okay. I don't know anything about I don't about remember what it is either, but it's a DK weight sock that I bought at the our local yarn store, the Yarn Maven. Um, all the information for it will be down in the box below if I don't put it on the screen. Sometimes I put information like that on the screen, but not all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same pattern. It's a little harder to see it on this one. But this yarn is great. Like, I didn't realize that it was a bigger ball of yarn. So yeah, you can still comes, see the pattern. It comes in 150 grams, I think. I really like this yarn. I love it. I do. I love that yarn. It's she wears yarn. those socks a lot, too. It seems around like. the house. Yeah. yeah. The, the pair of socks I knit for myself yeah. out of it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I like this yarn. I, the only problem is, is this one is a little bit tighter than this one. Like, this one's really loose. Hmm. Like, I mean, if you feel them, you can feel the difference. They knit at the same, like, I think it's just what their yarn are made out of. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm -hmm. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I you, think it'll be fine. Too. I don't think and, he'll and mind if that it, much. And if it, don't you, you have enough of I this enough yarn to, make to knit another, another sock. one. So if he's, if he decides that he really doesn't want non-matching socks, he can get a sock that yeah. matches this. Uh, yeah. I also have already shown a pair of socks that I started for him mm -hmm. and it was right when you I didn't bring them back. up no I forgot to oh, I meant okay. to but I started them and I was using a cotton yarn and I didn't mind I don't mind knitting with cotton yarn but knitting it the cables with the cotton right? it wasn't working right mm -hmm. it wasn't laying right it didn't look right or anything so I texted him like earlier this week I think it was like Monday I texted him and I was like hey, I'm trying to do your socks, and it's not working out. Do you want me to use a different yarn so I can send them to you? Because I felt bad, because it's taking me forever to knit socks. But I mean, like, I'm sure everyone here knits, but I don't take long to knit socks. So it's like, these should be done for him. And I felt bad. So I was like, I can make them. So now you sent him pictures, and he approved those yarns, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sent him pictures of the full skeins that I had and the scraps, because I knew he wanted 
like different socks so I was like I will use whatever yarn you want if you want me to get a different yarn I'll go get it I don't care I'll just do it and make them and send them to you because I feel bad <laughs> so they're taking me forever and socks don't take that long it's so. not forever though I mean when did it's you visit August. it's October oh okay that's forever eh, it's not forever for it me it's forever for <laughs> it me takes okay me that long and its socks are longer I started these Monday night <laughs> well I finished um Thursday night? Yeah. Thursday night. So, like, socks don't take that long. But that's it. That's mm -hmm. all I got to say about those socks. Okay. They'll be send, I'll be sending them to them on Monday. Great. Yep. Um, so now we're going to move into works in progress. You have two? Yeah. And I have three? I have three. All right, so it's, all... I have three, technically, if you count the spinning. Oh, okay. Well, so it doesn't matter who goes yeah. first. Should I go first? You want me to? Sure. Yeah, I'll go, go ahead. first. Okay. <laughs> So, once I finished my simple hug cardi, I picked up this scarf that I pulled out of hibernation. This is my oldest whip. Um, I think I've shown it once. And, oh, sorry. I don't want to hit you. <laughs> so, and I was down here. And I knit. I didn't knit a ton on it, but I did, you know, get several inches and let's see. it's very soft it's alpaca and I have notes so this is the Erica scarf by Gina house and this is actually my fourth Erica scarf that I'm knitting and I'm using us fives which are 3.75 millimeter and the yarn is Plymouth yarn alpaca prima Yep, Plymouth Yarn Alpaca Prima in this um, golden color. And I have like 80 grams left to knit. <laughs> Are you knitting all of it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to knit it all. Well, you know, there'll probably be a little bit left. Uh, but, yep, planning on using it all up in that scarf. That's going to be a long scarf. Yeah, you know, you can wrap it around because it's very light and, yeah. and, and you know, airy. I like, like, the blanket scarves. <laughs> That's why I've never knit a scarf. <laughs> All right. I love this one. This is another gift knit. So, this is a hat for my cousin, and it is the Red Heart. A different cousin. Not yeah, the one different getting one. This house. is for a four year old cousin <laughs> instead. But, anyway, so it is Red Heart. Super saver. And it's called Pumpkin. So, it is pretty bright orange. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it's not as bright as it's showing, at least there. But this is it, and it's like, I think it's about four inches of ribbing, maybe a little less, probably a little bit less. But then it's going to be stockinette all the way up, and then just decreases, and then he'll be able to hold up the brim. But it's not a pattern. I use the Rye Hat by Tin Can Knits to the numbers. find the numbers, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to knit that because I didn't know if he would like that. But so that's how it's supposed to be worn, basically. Mm -hmm. So I like it. Of course, yeah. orange is my favorite color, so... I don't I like it. <laughs> I like orange, but I like more of the fall tones of all colors rather Sorry. than I don't remember. I like all shades of orange. <laughs> These are a US seven, which is a four point five millimeter, but the bright orange is not my thing. Mm -hmm. Bright colors are not normally my thing at all, so but yeah. It's not for me, it's for a four year old, you know, so <laughs> whatever and there'll be plenty of yarn so I'm either gonna make him a pair of mittens or a scarf I don't know which one but just to match the hat so mm -hmm. because I'm not going to use the yarn for anything else so I might as well just use it for him because he loves the color orange and like orange because I mean he's four mm -hmm. so that's it that's all I got to say about that <laughs> I didn't knit very much I forgot to put a stitch marker on it but it was like right where the ribbing was is where I was, so I only knit like an inch of stockinette. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, the next project I worked on. Oh, what's it called again? My notes. Um, oh, the Rhinebeck is calling fingerless mitt, fingerless mitts by Crazy Sock Lady Designs. Um, so this pattern is on my make nine for this year. And I had finished the first one a while, a while ago, a couple months ago, I think. And now I have started 
the second one. That's all I got <laughs> so far. But let me tell you about yeah. the yarns. I'm gonna put it on so y'all can see it. Yeah. <laughs> so the pink that I am using is Fiber Spates Vivacious, Vivacious Four Ply in the color Mixes Magentas. It's 100% Superwash Merino. That's a good thing. And the striping yarn is Nomadic Yarns Jenny Weasley on the Trusty Sock, which is 75% Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon. Hoping to get these off the needles finished. How so many grams did you use again for the stripes? I don't know. I think I used like eight grams or something of the striped yarn. <laughs> they don't take up a lot of yarn. I'll definitely have some left over for socks. <laughs> okay. My next oh, one. Oh, and I'm knitting those on US 2, 2.75 millimeters. I didn't say that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've showed this so many times. But it's also partially because I frogged it in the beginning. Ripped it all out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to Alabama, brought this with me, came back, decided to rip it all out. But mm -hmm. I brought, like, I didn't bring much with me, so I knit on it anyways. So I'm back to where I was. But anyway, so I was there, and so I didn't split for the sleeve. So I split for the sleeves, and then I just kept knitting the body. And I'm, like, to the six inches that it calls for, but... Wait, what pattern is this again? Oh, the, oh turtle. the turtle dove number two by Esclastrico. Mm -hmm. And so it calls for like six inches. It is a pre pattern, so it's okay. But anyway, so it calls for six inches of the body after you do the splits for the sleeves. And then it's like a four inch ribbing. Or you can do a rolled hem and you knit further down. But that's not long enough for my liking in sweaters, so I'm knitting it longer. So I think I'm going to go to either eight or ten inches instead of the six so I got a little bit more to go and then I am doing the split hem which is four inches of ribbing on the front and then five inches of ribbing on the back and it's a twisted rib but the only change that I've made so far is the collar I changed it to two inches and the two inches of collar is plenty because it hits me right there so it's like the four inches I would have been like drowning in it <laughs> just from the collar that's it like just a collar. But anyway, so this is, the yarn is Plymouth Yarn Company, and it is their Encore Tweed, and the color is just a number. So this is my third ball of it, and I have two more. I don't have it in here, but two more balls, and then I'm done. And it's on a US 9. Mm -hmm. so, so that's it. I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's just <laughs> stocking at right now. All right, so my last whip is a cross-stitch whip. And I was asked in the comments a couple, several episodes ago how I keep track of my cross-stitch threads when I swap out colors. Uh, if I remember correctly, I believe that's the question. So just real quick, I keep a cross-stitch journal and I write the name of the pattern, the designer, the fabric I'm using, and um, I keep a list of all of my floss. And I write what colors that I kept from the pattern, and then I will write the colors that I switched out, and I will put like a one word description, so say if it's grass, I'll write grass, and then I'll you know freehand like the symbol as best as I can. Um, so this pattern that I've started is called Pick of the Patch by Belinda Carls Nace of Blue Ribbon Designs and it's from the Just Cross Stitch um, magazine, the October 2020 edition. So let me, here we leave that open. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'll just show you a quick picture um, because my just, I get the Just Cross Stitch magazine, I get the digital copy. So it's just a little ornament size, but that's the one I'm doing. Pick of the patch. And this is what I have completed so 
so far. Not a lot. I just started it a couple days ago. Um, so, real quick, I am using 36 count R&R. &R. It's called Liber Liberty Gathering Gray. 36 count linen. Um, and I've kept three of the colors that the pattern called for and the rest I um, swapped out. So in real quick, I'll go over those with you. So I am using, here, let me hold that again. I don't think I need okay. it anymore. <laughs> so real quick, I'm using DMC 730, DMC 829, which this is one of the called for colors. DMC 3852, DMC 938, DMC 310, that's another of the pattern suggested colors, DMC 727, Weeks Dye Works Carrot, that is one of the pattern colors. Color in cotton, storm clouds, and the gentle art, burnt orange. Oh, I think they look really pretty, very fallish together. I hope to have it finished before Halloween, <laughs> just you know, as a goal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Okay. My only other thing is spinning, and I did not do the best with it, but I do have... Well, you're just starting. Two, you can see a little mess up. But anyways, <laughs> two bobbins, just like this, full of the same wool. I want to undo it, because I don't know how to redo it. But, there, you can kind of see it. It is pre pretty nice in that one, you want to hold that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a bag. Where's your other bobbin? On the thing. I didn't want to take it off. Okay, now tell everybody what you have again. I know you Ooh, showed it. with the electric... Eel Nano. Nano. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be in, I'll put it in I the description. Or maybe I'll put it on the screen. I don't but know, anyways. but it'll be somewhere. Yeah. But <laughs> it's a little tabletop. Yeah, it's like the one. little electric one. Mm -hmm. It's electric Nano, Eel Nano something. Yeah. But anyway, so this is what I'm using, and it is in a bag, but it is Shetland wool from like Busy Bee or something. It's on Etsy. I don't remember. It'll be in the notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wrote it, but I have to open this too. I forgot to get it out. But anyways, so that was my third attempt, actually. But, uh, yeah. Your room's gonna smell woolly. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so that one, like I said, is my third attempt. So the first attempt is not really any type of yarn at all. So it's like all over the place. I'm gonna drop it off. I don't even know where it ends. There we go. Mm -hmm. This was the second attempt. It's really short, actually. But, it, like, nothing happened. But I eventually got it. I watched, okay, so I went on their website and I watched a video and it made sense. Wait, but you, it you went on the, the. The Electric Nano. Okay, website. you went on their website. Yeah, uh -huh. because they have videos and that's what they recommend using because they don't actually send you directions. Because, I mean, for that kind of thing, it's kind of hard to read the directions and know what they mean. So it's easier to see it than anything. So they have the web, the website, and you're supposed to go there for the directions. I went there. I was listening to them. And I understood what to do. But, I don't know. The way that it was being explained, I didn't fully get it. So I went on YouTube and looked it up. And there's a lady. I wish I knew which video I watched. But her video was great. Like... I watched it could and you, then I could you got learn, it. look at it in your history so we could put I'm it sure in the show I can. notes. Okay. I'm sure I can find it again. Mm -hmm. But her video was great. I watched it one time and turned back around and did it. And I was like, well that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so this was the first attempt. Like the first attempt kinda worked in places, but then other places it didn't. Like I mean the first attempt I tried for a while. The second attempt was the same day I did that one. Mm -hmm. But then my yarn tore and I was like, okay, it's good for now. But the one that's on it right now, I didn't take it off because I want to keep going with that one and try to use more of this. Because, I mean, there's a lot in there. And it's um, 
a natural undyed black yarn. Wool. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Shetland wool, right? Yep, it's mm-hmm. Shetland wool. So, here you go. Mm-hmm. That's all I did with that so far. All right. So, we're going to move into purchases. I have some, you have some? I have some. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. All the way down there. Do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shen situated. Anyways, so my October colorway came in. It's from Clark and Ella. It's called Autumn Leaves. And this is on their DK base. But so it's got like blues and greens and browns and tans and yellows and oranges. <laughs> the picture was a blues. Blues are okay. There's blues in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like blue and green. Like together. a tealy, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's the tag, Clark and L. It's called Autumn Leaves. Mm-hmm. And let's see. 75% superwash, 25% nylon, nylon strong DK. It's very pretty. Yeah. The inspiration picture was a really bright tealish bluish sky with leaves all around it. And, like, you could see the tree branches and then, like, the autumn, like, the autumn leaves. And everything so it was a really pretty picture but yeah and I've already ordered November colorway and it's really pretty like the picture is really pretty but I bought that one on sparkle Ten. but yeah this on model, sparkle fingering yep mm-hmm. her I think their only thing sparkle is on fingering, fingering yeah but yeah so that's my DK Clark now <laughs> you want to keep going or uh, I can yeah, show, just keep going. I'll show this one. I'll wait for that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and then I went to Willow Tree Yarns on Etsy, and I bought these two skeins, and this is the Cozy Place, and it is a fingering weight. It's their casual base. It's 75-25 super wash merino nylon, and so the yarn that she got me, the 50 gram, the 350 gram skeins that she got me for my birthday, I'm going to make into Alice and Pip is the yarn brand. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the ones she got me, not the one that I bought. Mm-hmm. But those three are going to be in a cardigan matched with this as the main color. So, That's yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> yep. I'm super excited. But I'm not casting that on until next year. Mm-hmm. So, but it's really pretty. Alright, you don't want to talk about that one now? Do you want me to? Yeah, let's just talk about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and... So we had mentioned last time I had placed um, an order with Angela of Willow Tree Yarn and it was a mini set um, and she was so kind and sent along an extra skein of yarn called Lollipop, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said use it as a giveaway or put it in the stash and Daphne and I both loved it but we ultimately decided to put it in the giveaway box for the podcast at some point in the future. Yes. So, but Daphne had went, we mentioned that Daphne had went on to the Willow Tree Yarn um, Etsy shop to see if there was another lollipop, and there wasn't. But then she found the other yarn for the sweater she wants to make, and she placed an order. And then Angela said she found the, the final skein that she had of lollipop, and she sent it along. Okay, and I found out, because I, I was reading, the com- I wasn't reading the comments, but I scrolled down past it, and I saw the picture of the yarn. And I was like, and I read it, and it was a mini. It was like a sock set. So I don't know if she just had this or if she had the sock set too in her shop. Oh well. So I think it was supposed to be a sock set, but anyway, she sent along this last final skein of lollipop yep. for Daphne. Oh, I'm not keeping the whole skein for myself because we both liked it, so we're gonna split it in half actually. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we can both have lollipop socks. And this is classy, <laughs> so it's an 80/20, which is super wash merino and nylon, mm-hmm. but. So the only difference is this one seemed to have more of like the muddled looking colors to it. Because we we looked at Well, you know, it's independently dyed yarn, so there's always going to be variations. No, no, this one just is. Yeah, this This one. They're both really, really pretty, Mm -hmm. but they're in like their own way. (laughs) Uh huh. I think that's so cool, especially like when you order them like at two different times, and then Uh you see how different they can be. Yeah. But they're like. I think it's fun. Pretty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so. Really pretty, and I'm so excited. Like, <laughs> I was gonna knit a different pair of socks first, but I might knit that first now. <laughs> so, um, for my purchases, I 
am a member of the Color and Cotton um, Thread Club. So I got my um, September 2020 Thread Club, which I signed up for three. So here are my three September colors. They're very pretty. This is Barnwood. This one's Old Brick. And this one is Old Moss. So there they are. And then I visited our local yarn store, the Yarn Maven, in Smyrna, Delaware. And they do ship, so if you're looking for something, <laughs> you might want to check them out. Um, and I, I went there because my husband wants a cow. And so it's starting to get cold, so I figured I better knit it for him before it gets too cold. So I went there with the intention to purchase this um, Barocco Ultra Wool. Is this one upside down? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, and this is the color number 33113. Um, and so I'm going to knit him a cow. I don't know. I didn't know if I was going to need two full skeins. I guess it depends on... He doesn't want it super big. He just kind of wants it to keep him warm in this area. So I don't know if I'll need both or not. <laughs> but I, So I picked those up. Knit him a hat to match it. <laughs> I knit him a hat last winter. I know. No. Oh. If you want to use the yarn, you don't know what to do with it. I just don't know if I'll use two hats. <laughs> um, so, and but then while I was there, I also picked up two of these um, Barocco Ultra Wool in this pretty pink color. This color is three three one zero because I have plans to knit uh, my four year old daughter Mary Rose a simple hug cardi. Told you I enjoyed knitting that cardigan, so I'm gonna knit more for myself, and I'm gonna knit one for her. So I took. Her chest measurement. Oops, I hit my water. <laughs> and I so I haven't quite decided. I'm either going to need to go down one size from the smallest size in the pattern, or I can knit the smallest size in the pattern because I'm going to knit it at a smaller gauge anyway. It, I have to do a little bit more math and figure that out. You should do a gauge swatch though too and see, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I oh. yeah, yeah, and um, but this is gonna be the main, this is gonna be the main color. So like the you know the band, the ribbing color and the sleeve color, because she said she wanted it to be pink and purple and blue. But <laughs> she's getting a lot of scraps out of my yarn stash, so we'll see. <laughs> and um, and then this was in their sale bin. Um, in the back room, and so I just picked that up because it was very very affordable and um she wants socks too so i have to knit her socks. Do you have socks too like yarn to knit her socks already yeah. yeah i do okay <laughs> so but like i said it was very affordable it was four dollars oh, 40 cents so i picked it up but anyway that's all i bought <laughs> so that's it right yep. do you have anything else yep that's all all right so that was pretty quick yeah, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I don't have anything else yeah, at all. <laughs> we say this every time. There's nothing really going on here. If Daphne stays home with her two kids, oh. and I homeschool, you know, my kids that are still at home. So, we just kind of stay home a lot. Although, I did go to the hair salon, <laughs> and I got a trim. <laughs> She's trying to grow out her hair, though, at the same time. I used to have very long hair, yeah. and then I chopped it all off. We both got haircuts right before we started the podcast, actually. So Was it before we started the podcast? I think so. Okay. Was it? Yeah. I, I think don't I know. had short hair. But I, w I think I had a trim right before shutdown, right before we went into um, the stay-home order in early March. That was the last time I had had a trim. I think you had your hair short. Real at short. the beginning of the podcast. Yeah. And then you got it trimmed again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that'd mean I would have had my That's hair That's true. Short I too. got it all chopped off right before we started podcasting. Anyway, you're not here for hair talk. <laughs> <laughs> we both normally have kind of long hair, though. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it. My <laughs> hair is usually Daphne's length or longer. Yeah. So, um. My hair is just I, how I feel like it. <laughs> I got it all cut off because as I get older, I'm 44 now, um, I noticed that my curls are less and less curly and more and more wavy. So I thought, well, maybe if I chop it off, they'll bounce up. They didn't, they didn't bounce up. So it's like, well, 
I prefer to have long hair because when I'm home, I like to just kind of wear it up on my head because I have a very thick, heavy hair. So anyway, <laughs> again, you're not here for hair talk. <laughs> but um, so anyway, we're enjoying the beautiful fall weather that we are experiencing and um we hope you are enjoying you we hope you are having nice weather weather and enjoying it wherever you are and we're so grateful that you're here and um, thank you for all the comment comments that you leave we really love um, reading them and responding to them if it takes us a little while to respond um, we hope that's okay like we're both busy with kids in the house all day long every day <laughs> so we, we try to get there as we you know when we can and get a few moments to sit down and think so that we can, <laughs> we can respond coherently but um all right so we will see you in two weeks yep. gotta get my little remote it's gonna, it's gonna work this time okay it was working i'm not <laughs> sure right. if it's gonna work anymore it'll but. work now <laughs> all right see you in two weeks bye, bye.